Hey guys, so as of today, I am 37 weeks pregnant and I thought that with how far I am, I now have a little more of a better saying in what I think are um, some essentials to being pregnant, like what you'll need. And again, this is just um, from my experience. I haven't had much of it. This is my first pregnancy. But yeah, if you are interested, Keep watching the video. So first thing on my list would be a belly balm. Um, I do not like the cocoa powder smell. Well, like I like cocoa powder. I don't like cocoa butter. So like I don't like the cocoa butter lotions or the creams. Like I don't know why the smell drives me crazy because it just stays on your skin and um, it lingers. I, I that's just my preference. I don't like it. Like I've heard that it works. Um, I don't know how great it is. I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying for me, I can't use it because the smell. I don't like the smell. But what I have been using is this organic belly balm from the Honest Company. Now this is amazing. Um, you can only order it online or at Target. You can get it at the store Target. And then since it is organic and all natural, um, it does cost a little bit more. Um, it looks like a small tub, but literally I have only used half of it and I have been using this pretty religiously. Like I would put it on, um, about at least four times a week. I would use it at least four times a week and a little bit goes a long way, which is why it's been lasting me so long. I think it retails for about $15. So obviously it's going to be a little bit more than the like the alternatives like the different types of creams the cocoa powder the um, cocoa butter um that a lot of women like to use but um i've never repurchased like if you look i've never repurchased i still have half of it um so it's well worth the money um and then also this you can double up and use it for like a nipple cream because um you know tmi or not your nips get itchy <laughs> but yeah so this right here is my biggest go-to like I did not get any stretch marks until about eight months so I'm 37 weeks so when I was about 30 32 33 weeks or yeah, around 33 weeks is when I finally got stretch marks and that's because I started getting sick and I got tired and I got really lazy and I just, I didn't do anything. So I stopped using this and right when I stopped, about a week after I stopped um, and I just used like a regular lotion after I took a shower and then, cause I literally just took a shower and then just went back to bed. Like that's how crummy I was feeling for a little while. But when I stopped was when I finally started getting stretch marks. So I second thing on my list is um, for you to wear. Um, obviously maternity pants is great and stuff, but it if you're like me, like the way my body is shaped, I have no butt. It can't like I can't hold pants up. So that's my problem. Like I can't hold it up. So even with the waistband, because um, when I, I do have like maternity leggings, so I love how high the waistband goes. And then I have two pairs of maternity pants and I do love the higher waistbands. So even though I pull that all the way over my stomach, it, I, I'm still being awkward when I'm at the store and wherever pulling it all the way up. And then because of the high waistband, I have to pull it all the way up. So um, something would be leggings. Buy yourself, um, buy yourself like five extra pairs of leggings. Like I know all of you ladies have like 15 pairs. Just buy yourself like five more. Make sure they're in the, like at least go one size up because the good thing is you'll probably still fit your leggings. Like I still fit my, um, size medium leggings and, um, I bought a bunch of large for, um, because I'm pregnant, um, but I can still fit my medium leggings, which is really great, but I prefer to wear the large ones because um, it just makes me feel like I have a little more space. So this next item is also another wearing item, and um, it would have to be a really good pair of walking shoes. Like, literally, I live in these. 
Well, I have another pair that I wore too, but I wore them so much every single day that I just flattened them because I got heavier and heavier and just flattened them. And um, so I got to wear them to work. I wear them to the store. I wear them everywhere. You need a pair of nice walking shoes. Like at the beginning of my pregnancy, I still wore my flats. I wore whatever, sandals. And I thought, Psh, whatever, I don't care. Like this is fine. Like I don't know why women complain about their feet all the time, but holy cow your feet will hurt like i am so lucky that i don't um like my feet don't swell so when i'm going out to something a little nicer i i can still wear my regular shoes but if i'm not going out to like a nice dinner or something like that i will wear my sneakers because literally that's the only thing that makes it so your feet do not hurt <sighs> and then Nike, the Nike outlet stores always have a sale, so you're gonna be in style, you're gonna have stylish shoes, like, I, for me, I like pink, so this was perfect, I got these on sale for like, what, 40, 40 bucks, so, okay, next item is actually an item that you probably already have, and if you don't, you can get them at Ross, you can get them at Costco, anything, um, and it is the memory foam pillows. You need at least two of these because I don't like them on my, like, to sleep on under my head, but they feel so good like tucking it under your stomach one under your stomach and one between your leg so instead of going to spend like like sixty dollars on a maternity pillow that wraps around your whole body this works exactly the same and it saves you so much money because memory foam is so common now that you can get you can get um like a, a pair of pillows for maybe what ten dollars um I got these ones at Costco last year, so I already had them, but I believe I got them for like $15. So I literally just tuck it under my stomach, like on the side when I am laying down, and then I put one between my legs, and that is how you fall asleep like heaven. Now this last thing, um, it's kind of a little TMI, but it is something, like I'm being real, like this is legit what I needed and it is going to be a deodorant like the summer's eve deodorant spray right here that can go down there like I don't know if it's in my head or whatnot but I feel like I, I smell funny because how many times you use the restroom it's like um, you need this or you need to keep wipes in your purse because you just feel gross because how many times you have to go to the restroom and then you're like wiping and wiping and wiping and then sometimes, you know, a little bit comes out when you're walking around and it's just, it's just not the pretty side of being pregnant. So um, just to give yourself peace of mind, I just do a couple chit chit, just that's it, you know very TMI but very very true and especially now towards the end of the pregnancy if I don't have wipes I'd like to just freshen up a little because you know I don't like to stay home I like to go out I like to do stuff so when I'm shopping and whatever I go to the restroom literally 20 times a day and if I'm home I'm able to take a shower like I'll like I've been taking almost two showers a day because I just feel so funky because down there so leaky and if I'm not home and not able to take a shower then I you know gotta freshen up somehow and more and more wiping doesn't always help so yeah so I hope you guys found this video helpful I just wanted to do um, my own take like I wanted to be real with you guys like obviously if I had a more difficult pregnancy because this pregnancy has actually been it's been so easy I've had what two three bad nights but um for me for like a regular normal pregnancy I don't think you need much like like I said these are my top five must-haves obviously other women have it worse which you know I am so thankful all the time that I have been lucky enough to have an easy pregnancy. But yeah, this is something that I think anyone can benefit from. Um, super easy, yeah, saves money, it just, this is what I think 
works, like what you need, what I needed at least, and it's, it's really simple. And then, you know, just take it easy and, you know, try to enjoy yourself still because it's not fun being miserable. Like, just because I'm not feeling well, I don't like to, I don't really like to mope around. Like, I try to keep busy, even though I should probably be sleeping for work or something. Um, I just try to keep busy, try to feel like I still, you know, can do things on my own. And yeah, so that is my top five pregnancy essentials. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to come back next week because I will have another video up for you. And you know what? Who knows? Maybe I'll have my daughter by then. I really hope so. So, we'll see. No. Bye. So this is it. The packaging is so cute. And um, I know the, the cushion, 